Hello doctors, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nerve slides are also known as neural mobilization, nerve glides, and nerve flossing. Nerve glides can be used as preventative measures, they can be used when symptoms first begin, and they can be used as rehabilitation. We want to make sure that the patients know the exact, precise, specific motions that they need to do. Very specific, just like any other exercise, we want them doing it correctly. When during, doing nerve slides, we also want to make sure that they don't overdo it. They do about 3 to 15 repetitions per day. They can do a few more, maybe one or two uh, at certain times of the day if they feel like they need it and if you feel like they need it, but we don't want the patients to overdo it. When you are doing a nerve slide for the axillary nerve, the patient can be seated or they can be standing. Always want to make sure that they're in good posture. What you want to have them do is the first step is just, again, to be in good posture, and then we are going to perform contralateral cervical lateral flexion. So I'm going to demonstrate on the right-hand side. So they go lateral flexion to the opposite side, and you want to make sure that they're going right along the plane. We don't want them coming forward. They go right here, and they depress the, sh the shoulder, the working shoulder, and then they internally rotate the working shoulder. This can be done with the arm hanging down by the side or it can be done with the elbow in flexion. Whichever way that you prefer to have the patient do it. So again, we're in a neutral position and you're going to have the patient perform contralateral cervical lateral flexion, shoulder depression on the ipsilateral side, and then internal rotation. Hold that for just a second and then go back to the neutral position. Again, contralateral, lateral flexion, shoulder depression, and internal rotation. You go back to the starting position. Now I'm going to demonstrate for the left hand side. So you go contralateral, cervical, lateral flexion, shoulder depression, and internal rotation. Hold it just for, just for a second or two, then back to the neutral position. Again, contralateral, cervical, lateral flexion or lateral bending, however you want to say it. Shoulder depression on the ipsilateral side, then ipsilateral shoulder internal rotation. That was for the axillary nerve, which is the motor innervation to the deltoid and the teres minor.